For shoppers, markets offer the personal touch, the chance to get something a bit different from high street chains. And Aquarius has been on the King's Road since the 1960s. But if developers get the go-ahead, these stalls will be replaced by an American fashion retailer. I couldn't have a shop on the King's Road, um, but by joining together with these others, you know, we, and we're a big attraction because of the, the d diversity the fact that there are lots of us specialising in there. We have people from all over the world who know we're here and come to us and when we're gone, wherever we go or split about, they won't be able to find us. And of course it's our livelihood. There used to be a lot of small individual shops which had no equal anywhere in the King's Road. The number gets smaller year by year and they're replaced by chains that you can go to in Bromley or Lancaster or wherever you are. Well, it was built in the 1920s and it is a Grade 2 listed building, which means it does have some protection. The local council say, though, what happens in the inside is really up to developers. The developer also owns the Grade 2 listed Camden Passage in Islington, once a thriving antiques market. Now it's closed and will be leased to a fashion retailer. And the company own this part of Brixton Market. Here plans are to build a 10-storey apartment block and size down the shops. The place needs tidying up, needs a lick of paint, needs this doing, needs that doing. Um, but I can't see us redeveloping it and kicking everybody out for two years and expecting us to relocate and still still have a business left. I just think it's overstretching things. Some people could say you, you've got it in for London's market. Uh, we certainly don't have it in for London's markets. We acquired a portfolio of properties that were markets. Um, and where we think that there are better alternative uses, we've looked to, uh, to, to have those uses made available there. The fight to save independent shops is countrywide, and with these battles being waged in different parts of the capital, where we shop is more political than ever. Aisha Baksh, BBC London News.